Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 7th Bootstrap 3 tutorial and we're going to take a look at Column Offset. Alright then guys, so basically by now you should be pretty comfortable with what a container is, what a row is and what a column is and uh, why they're used basically. Now, in this tutorial I want to talk about another topic which is called offsetting and uh, basically we take a look at this scenario, I want you to imagine that this is two elements that we've placed on the grid and this grid is behind it. If you see those grey bars, those grey columns, they represent the columns, there's 12 of those. So we're saying for smaller devices like this, I want those elements to be 12 columns in width, right? The full width of the screen. Now, if we wanted to have a gap on each side, like this example right here, then we can use what's called offsetting to offset the elements by two columns from the left, right? But we have to do more than just that. We have to also make the width of this element even smaller because if we just offset it by two columns then it'd go way off onto the side of the screen and it'd carry on for an extra two columns over here, right? No, we have to reduce the width of the element as well to be whatever width we want it to be. So this currently is now eight columns in width, okay? So we've offset it by two. Then we've made the width to eight so that there's two left on the right. So now the centrally sitting. So I'm going to jump into the code and show you an example. All right then guys, so here I am in the code and uh, it's basically the same as last time. We've got this container right here, which is a fluid one. Then we've got one row and then within the row, we've got these three elements, right? And uh, I've given them each a class of call XS12, which is saying, look, they're extra small screens to begin with. I want these to be 12 columns in width each one of them, right? So they're going to be full width of the viewport. And then when it gets to medium sized screen, as we get larger, I want them to take up four columns in width. So four plus four plus four means that they're going to be one, two, three after one and each other in one line. Okay, so let's just have a quick view of this in a browser, what it looks like. So this is on smaller screens where the 12 columns in width. And as we get towards the medium screen, which is 992 pixels, Yep, there it is. It breaks and it goes to three in a row like that. All right. So what I want is to offset the first one right here for smaller screens. So let's dive back into the code. The way we do offsets is by adding a bootstrap class. And it's pretty similar to the way we control the width of the columns. So all we do is say call extra small hyphen offset. And then by how many columns we want to offset it by. Now I'm going to do two. All right, so what I'm saying is, look, for extra small screens, right, I want you to offset this element by two columns, right? Now, if we view this in a browser, I've saved that, let's just open here and uh, refresh. Now you can see the offset of two columns, but like I mentioned earlier, all it's done is moved it right off to the screen here, and it's probably going to go behind here like that. And in fact, we get this little scroll bar so we can scroll across and see that. Okay, so not only do we need to add this offset, we also need to reduce the size of this element. Now, there's two columns of width here that it's been offset, and we want two columns of width over here, uh, which doesn't occupy, well, which the element doesn't occupy. Okay, so there's equal space on both sides. So what we need to do is reduce the width of this to eight, because then eight plus two plus two is 12, right? So let's go back to the code and reduce the width of that element to eight columns for extra small screens and go back and take a look. Okay, cool. Now we've got eight columns of width in the middle. Then we've got a two column offset on the right and then two columns of space left, uh, sorry, on the left and then two columns of space left on the right. All right. So this is fine until we get to that break point where we change the column width at 922 pixels. And then this kind of looks like a piece of junk, right? So we've still got that two column offset right here which means that this one no longer fits on the end over here because there's not enough room. So it's going down to the next line. Now we don't want that to happen. What we want to do is reduce or take away this offset when it gets to a medium screen. Now we have to do that explicitly in the code. It doesn't just go away by default when it gets to the next breakpoint. You have to take it away explicitly. All right. So what we do is go over here and say call. We had a new class. Call MD for medium screens. Offset zero. So what we're saying here is that, look, when it gets to a medium screen, I want you to reduce the offset back to zero. All right, so let's save this bad boy, take a look in the viewport again, and now it looks fine. So for smaller screens, less than 992 pixels, we've got this offset, and we've made this eight columns in width. 
So we've got this gap on the right, and then when it gets to that medium screen size, what we're doing is taking away that offset completely so that they're all still in one line. All right, so that is offset, guys. If you have any questions whatsoever about it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the very next tutorial.